Welcome to Tuesday? Tuesday, it's Tuesday, I thought I had to work tomorrow. Yes, it's Tuesday, January, oh thanks, thanks for poking on me. January 12th, uh, last night um, we had Claire, oh I know, you had fun last night. Last night we had Claire and Jen over, and I was doing Jen's hair, Claire just came to hang out. It's one of those things where you intend on vlogging, but um, you just end up talking the whole time, so it's like you don't really want to record that. So, I mean, it was mostly just sitting around and chit-chatting, so that's all we did last night. What's going on here? So yeah, guys, I'm just grabbing a couple coffees, one for me, one for Anna. Nothing for Mookie. He doesn't need anything. He's too young to drink coffee. And I think we're doing something today. I'm not sure what. Maybe going to look for more house stuff. Oh, you're still here. Hey, everybody. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're just gonna head home. Drink these iced coffees. Hold on. Does Mookie look better in 60 frames per second? Hey, do you look more real in 60 frames per second? Good morning, everyone. I'm so going off on a tangent here. So I just found out one of my favorite colors that I use with almost all my formulas just got discontinued. So I'm on a search to go basically buy all of it. And it's gonna run in the store and go, give me all your all 577. Of it. All of it. No. I know what to do if I, you know, I have other ways of figuring. There's it's, other, it's there's other, there's other options for me to use. Don't, don't get me wrong. Like I know how I could do like five and like, you know, nobody green is, additive. Nobody knows you guys don't know, but some of you hairstylists, you get it. Like you yeah. know, if there's like not a color, a color available. You work with it. You figure it out. That's the whole fun thing about color. But there's no reason you formulate to, uh, it. But it just is more of an inconvenience because yeah. now you gotta like kind of do all these additives, figure it all out. You know, but you know, just using your brain. There are other ways, but this color is like my jam. Like you guys don't even know. Like I use, I don't use the whole tube. None of my color formulations is just one tube. Like I have a mixture of it. It's all custom formulated with my brain. And um, yeah, so. But I'm, that's like you use it in a lot of your recipes. Yes, yeah. I do. Cause you know, gotta cancel that warmth. Sometimes warmth is pretty, mm -hmm. but sometimes you know, a little ash is good too. My theory here is, I feel like a lot of color lines, a lot of L'Oreal, I love L'Oreal, I love the color, like Majorelle is my jam. But I feel like a lot of colors get discontinued and then put on to like the sister, okay like a lot of color lines, like say L'Oreal will have like branches, there's L'Oreal Professional, they carry Majorelle, they carry Dia Richesse, Richesse, what else? Dia Light, like, know. All these other, it's all like subcategories of like colors, you know? It's not just like one brand. It's one brand, but under like, I guess this roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So what I feel like what they do is they discontinue a color and then they make it available to another, the other side. So you end up using that color line too. Well, of course, because that way you have to buy the developer for that line. You have to buy like into that line so it's probably also more expensive yes so they is. know like oh this is... i don't care about expenses because yeah. like to me like well whatever to them, to them yeah. it makes more money well, they don't me, i know you don't what, care i don't really care because like yeah. whatever makes the color looks great i'm gonna use it so guys don't like tease us like don't make a color line make it awesome or make a color and then take it away from us only to make it available for i guess another like like the sister side so yeah, I'm gonna go to the store, I'm gonna go find it. Okay, bye. <laughs> That's all they have left. She found two. And now it's gone forever. It's gone. Right, right there. <laughs> Looks like it. Really? For real? Really, really loud. <laughs> oh, oh, so Watch out. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Then, um, Let's continue the. I'm writing funny.
So hey guys, we are downtown uh, by the Ace Hotel. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right there. Um, we're just going to Oak, which is hilarious because I'm doing something that I hate, is wearing an item of clothing to a store I'm going to go shopping at. It's black, you can't tell. They're going to know. They're going to go, what a loser. And then I think we're going to go to ASOC to buy some overly expensive soap and body lotion, hand lotion, whatever it's called. Yeah, I told Anna she couldn't buy fancy expensive soap until she used up all the soap that she did buy at like, what was it? Like the sales? The bed, bath and, no, no. Bath and Body Works? Bath and Body Works. She bought like 8,000 soaps, so she finally used the rest of it up. But we are going in here. Here? Here. Your arms, your arms. What happened to your arms? They fell off? <laughs> Uh, so we are back in Ikea uh, because we want to get a few things that we got but we want more of. Do you like our new kitchen, guys? I don't know about that color. Yellow? Yeah. If it was orange, I'd like it. You love orange. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Look, I'm a uh, gladiator. <laughs> right? Never seen Gladiator? Good morning everyone, it is... Just kidding. <laughs> it's in here, let's try something different, shall we? Oh, a new beginning? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, my hair looks so red. Will you sing the beginning? No. Will you rap the beginning? No. Vlogger will never do one. And I'm today. like, why? I go, you haven't posted anything in like how long now? Next but they'll have already have seen what I've posted by the oh. time they see this. Yeah, we kind of got a little burned out from Vlogmas, but that's okay. Yeah. I think everybody who did Vlogmas got burned out from Vlogmas or they just kept going. <laughs> so I think it was like one of the two. And like what happened was is when our my upload streak got broke by the bad internet, it was just like that's it, I just crashed and burned. Well, you've been busy too. Well, yeah, but I mean, I think once you have that like streak that's going, there's like a, a reason to keep going. And then like when that upload failed, I was like, oh, that's it. And I just like, I just failed. So, no, you're fine. Um, but yeah, so today Anna Lee is going into work. Yes, I am. And oh my gosh, have you guys seen this new year? I've just been doing new techniques and like just wanted to change my girls up. And so check it out here and here. And yeah, and Jen's actually photos of Claire. Oh, okay. Photos of Jen. Okay. And Jen's coming back next week, and I think I'm gonna make her even lighter. Shh. And yeah, and so is Brenda. Check out Claire's 2015 favorites. She covers uh, a subject that we're not allowed to discuss, and that's why we're not saying anything about it because. Well, technically, you're, we're not not allowed. We were just asked politely not, like not to talk to, about it. Since it's... Considering that, you know... Yeah. Yeah. But Claire, totally... I love you so much, babe. Yeah. Totally fucking nailed it. And the explanations. So, yeah. Watch Claire. I'll link to her video, but uh, it's also going to link exactly to the part where you're going to watch it. Yeah. So. I'm not ignoring your questions. It's just I can't comment. You were asked not to. Uh, you yes. could comment. I could comment, but I was asked yeah. not to. Let's and put it that way. he's my, you know, Chaz is my mentor and everything, so yeah. I respect his wishes. Yep. So, yeah, watch Claire. It's fucking awesome. She's just fucking awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, okay, I gotta go now. Bye! Bye. All right, guys, I am off to do a few air errands. Go to the bank, get this car washed, even though it kind of looks like it's gonna rain. Uh, what else am I doing? Grocery shopping, 
And yeah, I am so tired from being at the beach yesterday and shooting. The beach in Santa Monica is, at least the section that we were at, it's like, I don't know, like half a mile wide. Maybe it's even a whole mile wide. So when you're walking from where the car is, which was pretty far, um, it takes, it took like 10 minutes, not nah, five minutes to get to the actual beach. And then it took about 15 minutes to walk from the edge of the sand all the way down to the water. Um, and then add on to that carrying a heavy camera bag. Ugh, I'm like exhausted today. Uh, but the shots turned out really good. If they are out by the time this comes out, I'll throw them up here. Look at this Ferrari hatchback. Who buys? Who buys a Ferrari hatchback other than this guy? You are a tool. Look at Mr. Cool pulling ahead of everyone. Go ahead. Dip shit. All right, car wash done. Hey guys, I'm down in Echo Park right now. I'm going to this place called Zyowa. I'm not even really sure how to pronounce it. It's a Vietnamese place, but they have a dish that I love that's hard to find in LA. Um, it's called Mi Quang. So let's get some. This is how I'm greeted when we come home, guys. Oh, wow. Thanks, Mookie. Also, he brought this toy to me, but you guys, I didn't get that on camera. Back up. Take your raccoon. Take your raccoon. Hey guys, home now. Uh, I had to cut my errand running short because apparently a uh, client needs some files the uh, beach shots from yesterday, they need it ASAP. And they told me, whenever tomorrow. So, whenever tomorrow and ASAP are two different things. Uh, that's the, one of the challenges of being a photographer and uh, having clients and stuff like that. Their ideas of things are quite often different than what you think they want all the time. So yeah, I'm gonna go and make the selects for those images now. Um, I don't have to make the actual picture selects that they're going to use, but I have to narrow it down just from my own shots, like if I had out-of-focus shots, etc., etc. I don't like giving like garbage images, so I'm going to narrow those down, and then I think I'll run out again and grab the groceries that I needed to get today. But yeah, and that food, I cannot recommend that place, guys. That was pretty substandard Vietnamese food. The shrimp was like, bleh. The pork was like, bleh. Um, the noodles were not delicious. They were just like, whatever. The broth was pretty weak. Um, the limes were dry. Uh, what else? There was no like, uh, like peanuts or like um, the pickled carrots or radish that you normally get too. It was very like, ugh. Uh, it was like someone had an idea of what the dish should be but didn't really know how to cook it or never been taught how to cook it or never really tasted what a real like Mi Quang is supposed to taste like. It was just like their idea of what it is, you know? Like the picture, I'll show you a picture right here. Picture looks pretty good. You can tell those limes are dry though in the picture. It was really substandard. I'm really glad I went there by myself and I didn't bring Anna because I've been bugging Anna to go there for a while. So don't go there. I'm not even gonna say where it is. Did I say where it was? If I said where it was, just forget I said it. So, mystery restaurant in Echo Park. I guess if you're like starving, no, don't go there if you're starving. There's like a, a million better places in Echo Park to eat. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go do some work and then I'll catch up with you guys in a bit, bye. All right, so hey guys, it is much later in the day, a lot later than I thought it would be for me to go through all those files. Sometimes being a photographer is kind of a drag. It's fun taking the pictures, it's not fun sorting through slash doing any of that kind of stuff. 
don't know. I always think that part's kind of boring. Um, <laughs> which is like half of the time, more probably actually more than half the time. You take pictures probably takes about 20% of the time and then you're messing with the pictures for the other 80%. Uh, you're wondering why I'm looking like this. It's kind of chilly right now in LA and I'm about to take the doggies out for a walk. So let's go do that right now. You ready? You ready? You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh. Hey guys, back inside now, just finished walking the dogs. You're probably wondering why we're in the living room here. So you can see there's the projector and my PS4. Now we're getting a set of shelves that are gonna go back behind this couch. This couch is gonna move forward a bit and then the projector will be up there. All right, are you ready? It's pretty awesome. Uh, this has like been my dream for a while to have like a really nice uh, home theater set up and the first piece of it is in place basically. Whoa. Check this out. Yeah. So that's the screen there. So that's the screen. It's attached behind uh, the last beam there and we just pull it down whenever we need it. Um, I'm not... I gotta make a couple little adjustments to it. So that's why the ladder's still here. Um, but it's pretty awesome. It's kind of hard to balance the light between the screen and me, but. Oh, it's hard to do too, huh? And it's been working about an hour, so I'm gonna go pick her up then. But until then, I guess I'm gonna have to just try out my screen. Exposure, there we go.